Today we're going to tie a hare's ear nymph. This is a great mayfly imitation for crawler nymphs and box ear nymphs. You can use it all year round and trick it out uh, any number of ways. We're going to tie the classic version today. It's pretty straightforward and a great fly to practice if you're learning dubbing. First we're going to use a nymph hook. This is a TMC 3761 and a size 12. I'm pairing that with a 1 8 inch gold brass bead from Cyclops, just for a little bit of flash and a little bit of weight. Next we're going to add a little bit of lead free wire. This is going to seat the bead and keep it from sliding around. I'm going to use between 6 and 8 wraps and pinch it off with my fingernails. Then we're going to slide this up into the bead. Now we can start our thread right at the lead wire. This is also going to serve as a placeholder for us. So keep in mind exactly where that transition is because that's going to separate our thorax from our abdomen. Okay, we're going to build a little thread dam back here that's going to keep that lead wire in place and you can also put a few wraps on top of the lead if you like. Okay, trim that excess. Then we're going to bring the thread right back to the barb. We always know it's set up with the barb when you let your thread go and it lines right up on top of it. For the tail, we're going to grab some fur from the hair's mask here. You can just trim close to the skin Make sure you don't get too much. It's easy to overdo this part of the fly. This is going to have a little bit shorter tail. We're going to only going to measure about half a shank length, or if you want, the gap. Okay, pinch that in your left hand, and using a pinch wrap. I'm going to keep it on top of the shank. All right, check your length. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to wrap on top of the rest of this fur here. It's actually going to line right up with my weighted wire and complete that whole transition and that taper for me. All right, trim any excess. Don't worry about having it too perfect. Okay, we're going to bring our thread back again. Next thing we're going to use is a little bit of brassy sized gold ultra wire. This is going to add a rib to the fly and a little bit more durability. The original pattern uses tinsel, uh, but I think this is a little bit easier to use and tends to last a little bit longer. So, here I'm going to line up the tip of my wire with the bead just as just as a, a holder there so I know that I'm using the right length. And then I'll wrap down on top of this all the way up to the bead so it's secure. And then again, bring your thread right back to the barb. We're going to start dubbing this fly now, and we're using hare's ear. Plus dubbing. This is a nice blend of rabbit's fur with guard hairs and a little bit antron. I like to wet my thread here just to give a little bit more, just to give a little bit more grip. Now remember not to overdo your dubbing. You can always add more later. A little bit goes a long, long way. All right. I'm going to start taking wraps up the shank of the hook. Now see, I've run out. I need to add just a little bit more. And we're trying to get to where that transition point is with that weighted wire. All right, there we are. You don't want to go any further than that because this is where we're going to tie off the wire. I'm going to counter wrap this so I'm working underneath and back towards me. I'm 
gonna evenly space these out. I'm gonna end up with about four wraps on top of it. And then I'm gonna hold it vertical to get some wraps behind it and in front of it. And bring my nozzle up to the fly and helicopter the remaining parts off. Great, that breaks just right down into the fly. Next we're gonna borrow a little bit of turkey tail. This is gonna be our wing case. So don't be shy about this material. You can, you can use too little for sure. We're gonna tie this in with the tips pointing up towards the bead. We're going to try and keep this flat on top of the shank. Okay, see how the butts here point back towards the tail? Great. You can trim these tips off once they're all secure or just pull them out of the way. Now we're going to go back to the dubbing. This is a slightly darker shade, but remember you can use whatever you like. Again, I'm going to wet my thread. And you can be a little bit more generous in this part, but be careful if you go too heavy, it won't stick to your thread very well. So I'm gonna wrap up to the bead and then back to the wing case. Add a little bit more and then back to the bead. I want my thread to end up right flush with that bead. So this is where I'm going to fold over my wing case now. Okay, three on top of that, three in front. Trim the remainder. Don't worry about that being perfect because we're going to whip finish right on top of that and clean it up. So about a five turn whip finish. Seat that thread in there, trim it. And you've just tied a hairs of your nymph. One way you can take this one step further is use a little Velcro tool and sneak that in and comb everything out just a little bit more. And these end up looking like little legs and give your fly a lot of movement in the water. Enjoy this one catches a bunch of fish. Have fun.